Hey, Engine Joe here with Powertrain Company. I want to talk to you a little bit about the 3.6 GM V6 engine, what they call the high feature V6. Now, uh, this engine is kind of new for General Motors. It was introduced in 2004, but in our world, that's kind of a new engine or a new power plant. Um, this thing is used in just about everything GM has that's got any volume or size to it. Everything from Camaros all the way up to, to Cadillac Escalades, CTSs, um, Buick LaCrosses, uh, a lot of the, the Equinox, uh, just, just about everything. It, it's kind of GM's future in the overhead cam engine design. Now, up to this point in GM's bigger vehicles, they've kind of stuck with the push rod engines. Um, really just a variation of the old small block Chevy. Probably one of the best engine power plants ever designed. But they had to make the transition into the overhead cam to get the efficiency they need out of these smaller engines. So they've come up with this high feature 3.6 liter V6 engine. This is a four cam, four valve per cylinder engine, extremely efficient, a little bit on the delicate side like most of our light model engines are. This is an aluminum engine. This thing is a variable valve time engine with four cam phasers. Remember, we've talked about cam phasers in the past. Um, a lot of the engines have, some of the engines have one. Uh, the most popular one is that 543 valve Ford has two cam phasers. Well, this 3.6 General Motors now has four cam phasers on it. So a pretty particular little engine. Um, it's designed to work with active fuel management. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's the deconstructing of your engine while you're going down the road. That's when it doesn't need it, it'll shut off two of the th of the six cylinders and run the engine on four for efficiency. Um, again, a pretty complicated system. Uh, they've tried this in the past, but the engine wasn't really designed for it. It didn't work very well. This 3.6 is designed for active fuel management, and folks, it works extremely well. It's a great little engine. This thing produces 230 to in the 300 horsepower range, depending on the direct inject or the port inject or, you know, which model you've got it in, but basically a pretty fine little engine. The big issue, why are we talking about it? Why are we selling the 3.6? Premature timing chain failures. Pretty common subject nowadays. You're going to hear a lot about us talking. It's, 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 it's in everything. And dadgummit, it all reverts back to the oil. This engine has a management system on it that tells you when to change your oil. Uh, the computer tells you when it's time for an oil change, shows up right on your dashboard. Great idea, except the way this thing works is not based on the miles you put on the vehicle. It's based on the revolutions of the crankshaft in a formula that uses the oil temperature and then the computer determines when that oil is worn out. Unfortunately, it's not a good system. It really isn't. And that's what's been the problem with these things. A lot of these things are showing oil changes at 12,000 miles. Um, and, and folks, I'm telling you, that's just too long on oil change on these modern engines. Those cam phasers, remember from our cam phaser discussion, they work off of oil pressure and they have to have clean, fresh oil running through them in order to make them work. So the biggest problem with this 3.6 turns out to be running the oil too long. There's actually a technical service bulletin out from General Motors, uh, came out in about 2013, we started seeing those, um, that give you a way to go back to the dealership and recalibrate uh, that oil sensing part of the software. And so they're trying to get that to where it reports you need an oil change a lot sooner than it used to. Even the manual, I, mean, I was looking at a Buick LaCrosse manual the other day, and I noticed that even the manual says if you have to reset your engine management control system, then you should change the oil in 3,000 miles. Back to the same old thing we've been doing, 3,000 mile oil changes. Folks, if you want your 3.6 to last a long time, change the oil at 3,000 miles. Don't rely on the oil engine monitor caniculator system thing. Get your oil changed. Use the correct oil, 5W30, even in these things. 
don't monkey around with the oil. That's what's causing the problem. Other than that, a really good engine, a really great advanced design. It is the future of the GM overhead cam engines. This is what you're going to be seeing from now on. Well, from now to the foreseeable future on your GMs. At Powertrain Company, once again, we're getting our 3.6s from the same people that build them for GM. If you get a GM warranty replacement engine, it came from the same manufacturer where we get our 3.6s. All OE internals, all OE measurements. One thing in the manufacturing process, what we know is the cam towers. Uh, these are the brackets that hold the camshaft in. They're very fragile and they must be aligned home correctly to get this engine back in spec. So once again, Powertrain Company, we're furnishing you that OE quality replacement engine. Your 3.6 you get from us will be the best you can possibly get. Thank you very much. And hey, give us a holler at Powertrain Company. We do want to help you.